Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a way to upgrade your Windows 10 evaluation version to full version. As you may know, Microsoft has an evaluation center which provides all kinds of Microsoft products from Windows Server to applications. You can try it for 90 days. You can experience all different features from those enterprise products without paying anything. But there's a problem after 90 days. Once you decided you need to go to full version, you have to reinstall everything. Is there a way you can upgrade it from evaluation to full version? Yes, unofficially, there's uh, tons of ways. I decided to Google trying to find a way for my Windows 10 evaluation to full version. Um, there's not much video to talk about it. I even couldn't find one. So I decided to make a video for that since there's a tons of videos for Windows Server. Maybe there's some other people looking for this video as well to upgrade the Windows 10 evaluation to full version. I got my blog post here to summarize all steps and the files you needed. Please take a look. If there's any questions, let me know. I will try my best to answer as fast as I can. So now, let's start it. The process is pretty simple. You download the trial version, which is evaluation version from Microsoft website. You can Google it and you can find out the right version from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and then you can start to download the ISO file. You may ask to provide your personal information, first name, last name, email, company name, country, role, company size, phone number, or you can use the link I provide here directly go to download place there's a 64 bit and a 32 bit there's a enterprise and LTSC version in this example I'm gonna start it from 64 bit let's start with downloading click on 64 bit you will get a 4.5 around gigabytes ISO file downloading. It may take you 10 to 12 minutes depending on the window size. So let's leave it to finish it and then we will continue from here. Once you have your ISO file downloaded either 32 bit edition or 64 bit edition, you can use the USB Rufus tool to burn the downloaded ISO file into a USB stick then you can use it to boot your physical machine to install your Windows 10 or Windows 10 LTSC. That's the process when you have physical machine need to install Windows 10 or Windows 10 LTSC. In this lab, we're gonna use VMware. We are not gonna use in a physical machine to test in these things out. I already installed Windows 10 evaluation version using the downloaded ISO file. So now we are going to go into this Windows 10 evaluation version to see how it looks like and confirm its evaluation version. After that, we're going to upgrade it to Windows 10 full version. Once you booted your new installed evaluation Win 10 machine, right away you will notice at your screen's bottom right you will see this watermark to say you are running on Windows 10 and the price is the LTSC evaluation version. You also can get it from your system properties or from Windows PowerShell command line. From the Windows system about page, you will see this Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC evaluation version, installation time, and the version number. 
OS build. If you want, you can run this command to find out your calendar edition as well. As mentioned, there's no way you can easily upgrade it to Windows 10 version. Even you have Windows 10 full versions license, you won't be able to change the license here directly and then upgrade it to it. Microsoft will not accept that. But the reason why is because the key use on the list folder is different. So if you look at your Windows evaluation version SKUs folder, you will see there's only one SKUs there, just Enterprise as evaluation subfolder there. How about my normal ones? This is my normal Windows 10 Enterprise full version. I'm having more than 10 folders on the SKU folder, which includes all kinds of version I can change it to. It's very simple to do this change. The all SKUs has been zipped into a zip file. What do you need to do? You just need to open it, copy all of them, and then paste them into your Windows 10 evaluation machine. You may need to provide your administrator permission to do this copy since it's under the system folder. Once done, before you can do next step, running some script to apply this OSKUs, just reboot the machine. System has been rebooted. Let's verify the folder with those SKUs. We have all those things. We're gonna run some command from CMD, not from a command shell. So we're gonna use in run command, type CMD, and then open it as an administrator. We're going to run those commands, directly copy from my blog post, which you will find the link below. It may take a couple minutes to finish all commands. What you need to do is just wait. It will automatically finish and give you a feedback output from this Windows command line window. As you can see, the product key has been installed successfully. After this step down, the only thing you need to do, just reboot the machine again. That's our second reboot. After system reboot, you will notice right away the difference. The evaluation watermark is gone. Let's take a look at the system. It's a Windows 10 Enterprise version now. We can run it from command line again. You will see this time they didn't give you your addition. They give you an error message instead. Does that mean we didn't get upgraded? No, we still can run our another command to find out. We are running on a full version. There's no evaluation. You can do free upgrade and there's no time limitation. 
You may get an error message during the whole process, which I record here. There's some error message to say a computer is non-call addition. They don't want you to run those C script command. You may get those error message, but we should be able to fix it using this command as well, which I did meet this kind of error message and did fix it. Eventually was able to activate it and get it to the full version. Also, you may have a problem with your activation. You may need to activate it. Uh, in that case, then you have to using your key or your KMS server to do the activation, as I show in the step five. The process is still pretty simple, easy to follow. I hope you can get some useful information, especially when you have same problem as I had. You can successfully upgrade your evaluation version to full version. If it helps you, please give me a sum up. Also, subscribe to my channel to support me. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.